Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be dividing polynomials. So let's do a quick review. If you have x to the fifth power divided by x to the second power, remember when you are dividing with the same base, you need to subtract your exponents. So this is going to turn into x5 minus 2, which equals x cubed, because 5 minus 2 is going to give us 3. So what if you had 18x to the sixth power divided by 3x squared? So I'm going to go ahead and divide 18 divided by 3. This is going to give us 6. And then here I am dividing with the same base, so I'm going to subtract my exponents. So this is going to turn into x6 minus 2, which is going to equal 6x to the fourth power. So let's look at this example. We are dividing a polynomial by a monomial. So this is going to equal 5x to the fifth power over x squared plus 3x to the fourth power over x squared plus 10x cubed over x squared. So what we're doing here, we're dividing each term by our monomial, which is x squared. 5 divided by our imaginary 1 here is going to equal 5. And then remember, when you're dividing with the same base, you need to subtract your exponents. So we have x to the fifth divided by x squared. This is going to equal x cubed. Plus, we have 3x to the fourth divided by x squared. We have 3 divided by our imaginary 1. That's going to give us 3. And then we have x to the fourth over x squared. I'm dividing with the same base. I'm going to subtract my exponents. So this is going to give me x squared. So we're going to get x squared here. And then now let's look at our last term here. So we have 10 divided by our imaginary 1. This is going to equal a positive 10. And then we have x cubed minus x squared. This is just going to give us x. So your final answer is 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 10x. So let's look at this example. We're dividing a polynomial by a monomial. So I'm going to go ahead and divide each term by the monomial. So 4x cubed divided by x minus 3x squared divided by x plus x divided by x. And then we have negative 2 divided by x. So let's look here, 4x cubed divided by x. This is going to give us, we have 4 divided by our imaginary 1. This is going to give us 4. And then we have x cubed divided by x. x cubed minus x is going to turn into x squared. Now let's look here. We have negative 3x squared divided by x. So negative 3 divided by 1 is going to give us negative 3. And then x squared divided by x, this is going to turn into x. And then here we have x divided by x, this is going to turn into a positive 1. And the reason why this is 1 is because your x's cancel out. Or another way that you can see this is if you're dividing x divided by x, so this is going to equal x 1 minus 1. This is going to equal x to the 0 power. x to the 0 power equals 1. Next, we're going to go ahead and simplify negative 2 over x. Since I cannot simplify that, that's just going to stay the same as negative 2 over x. And this is your final answer. So let's look at this example. The way that I like to think about these division problems is to think what number do I need to multiply x with that's going to give me 3x squared. <laughs> it's going to be 3x. If I multiply 3x times x, this is going to give me 3x squared. Then we're going to multiply 3x times negative 2. This is going to give us negative 6x. Now we're going to subtract. And it's very important that you remember this negative sign that's out here in front of your expression. Remember, this negative has to apply to all of your terms inside the parentheses. This is 3x squared minus 3x squared. These are going to cancel out. And then we have negative 7x plus 6x. This is going to turn into negative x. And then I'm going to bring down my 5. So this is going to be a positive 5. So now let's go back to our divisor. What number do I need to multiply my x with that's going to give us negative x? And that's going to be negative 1. Because if I multiply negative 1 
times x, this is going to give us negative 1x. And then we're going to multiply negative 1 times negative 2. This is going to give us a positive 2. Now we're going to subtract. Remember, you have your minus sign out here that has to apply to all of the terms inside. So negative 1x plus 1x, these are going to cancel out. Now we have 5 minus 2. This is going to equal 3. So your remainder is 3. So I'm going to put my remainder 3 here. However, the proper way that you do need to write this, this is going to look like 3x minus 1 plus 3 you're going to put that back over your divisor. So 3x minus 1, that is your quotient. Your 3 is the remainder, and that's going to be over your divisor, which is x minus 2. And this is your final answer. And if you wanted to check your work, you're going to multiply your quotient, 3x minus 1, times your divisor, plus your remainder is going to take you back to your dividend. So this is going to give us 3x squared, negative 6x, negative 1x, plus 2, and then plus 3. So you're going to get 3x squared minus 7x plus 5, which takes you back to your dividend. So we know this is the correct answer. All right, so let's try this example. What number do I need to multiply my x squared with that's going to give me 3x cubed. And that's going to be 3x because 3x times x squared is going to give us 3x cubed. And then 3x times 1, this is going to turn into a positive 3x. And make sure when you are dividing is to make sure that you do line up your variables so that it's easier when you are subtracting. So 3x cubed minus 3x cubed, this is going to cancel out. Then I have 4x squared. I'm going to write positive 4x squared here. And then we have x minus 3x. We're going to get negative 2x. And then I'm going to bring down my 7. That's going to be a positive 7. Now we're going back to our divisor. What number do I need to multiply my x squared with? That's going to give me 4x squared. That's going to be a positive 4 because 4 times x squared is going to give us 4x squared. And then 4 times 1, this is going to give us a positive 4. Now we're going to subtract 4x squared minus 4x squared. These are going to cancel out. Now we have negative 2x minus 0. This is going to equal negative 2x. And then we have 7 minus 4. This is going to give us a positive 3. So your remainder is going to be negative 2x plus 3. So the correct way to write this is you're going to write your quotient, which is 3x plus 4, plus your negative 2x plus 3, and that's going to be over x squared plus 1. So this is your quotient, your remainder, and this is your divisor. And to check your work, you're going to do your quotient times your divisor plus your remainder is going to take you back to your dividend. All right, so let's try this example. What number do I need to multiply my x with that's going to give me 4x cubed? And that's going to be 4x squared because 4x squared times x is going to give us 4x cubed. 4x squared times 2, this is going to give us a positive 8x squared. And always remember to line up your variables. Now we're going to subtract. Remember, this negative applies to all of the terms inside your parentheses. So 4x cubed minus 4x cubed, these are going to cancel out. Then we have 2x squared minus 8x squared. This is going to give us negative 6x squared. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring down my negative 10x. And then I'm going to bring down my negative 5. So now let's go back to the beginning. What number do I need to multiply my x with? That's going to give us a negative 6x squared. And that's going to be negative 6x. Because negative 6x times x is going to give us a negative 6x squared. Negative 6x times 2 is going to give us a negative 12x. 
Now we're going to subtract. And our minus sign is out here. Negative applies to all of the terms inside your parentheses. So negative 6x squared plus 6x squared, these are going to cancel out. We have negative 10x minus negative 12x. This is going to turn into a positive 2x. Now I'm going to bring down my negative 5. Now let's go back to our divisor. What number do I need to multiply my x with? That's going to give us a 2x, and that's going to be plus 2. Because 2 times x, that's going to give us 2x. And then 2 times 2, that's going to give us a positive 4. Now we're going to subtract. So 2x minus 2x, these are going to cancel out. So now we have negative 5, negative 5 minus 4. This is going to give us a negative 9. So your remainder is going to be negative 9. So your quotient is 4x squared minus 6x plus 2 plus your negative 9, and that's going to be over x plus 2. So we have our quotient, our remainder, and then our divisor. And this is your final answer. So let's look at this example here. First thing we're going to do, notice here that I do have a blank space right here between my x cube and my x. And you can leave a blank space or you can put a positive 0x squared. And the reason why we're doing this is because this is our little placeholder just so that we can line up our variables carefully. We do not have any x squared so we can leave a blank space or you can just go ahead and put your 0 and then the variable that's missing. So let's go ahead and divide. What variable do I need to multiply my x squared with? That's going to give me x to the fourth. And it's going to be x squared. Because x squared times x squared is going to give us x to the fourth. x squared times negative x, this is going to give us negative x cubed. And then x squared times 1, this is going to give us a positive x squared. And remember, we added our placeholder so that it's easier when we are subtracting. Now we're going to subtract. So we have x to the fourth minus x to the fourth. These are going to cancel out. Then we have negative 3x cubed plus x cubed. This is going to give us negative 2x cubed. And then we have 0x squared minus x squared. This is just going to give us x squared. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring down my positive 2x. And then I'm going to bring down my negative 5. Let's go back to the top. What number do I need to multiply my x squared with? That's going to give us negative 2x cubed. And that's going to be negative 2x. Because negative 2x times x squared is going to give us negative 2x cubed. Negative 2x times negative x, this is going to turn into a positive 2x squared. And then we have negative 2x times 1. This is going to turn into a negative 2x. Now we're going to subtract negative 2x cubed plus 2x cubed. This is going to cancel out. Then we have negative x squared minus 2x squared. This is going to turn into negative 3x squared. Then we have 2x plus 2x. This is going to turn into 4x. And then we're going to bring down our negative 5, which is right here. So let's go back to the top. What number do I need to multiply my x squared with? That's going to give us negative 3x squared. And that's going to be negative 3. Because negative 3 times x squared is going to give us a negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative x, this is going to give us a positive 3x. And then negative 3 times 1 is going to give us a negative 3. Now we're going to subtract. So negative 3x squared plus 3x squared, these are going to cancel out. Then we have 4x minus 3x. This is going to give us x. And then we have negative 5 plus 3 is going to turn into a minus 2. All right, since our remainder is x minus 2, we're going to go ahead and write it the proper way. So we have our quotient, which is here, 
our remainder over the divisor? And this is your final answer. So let's try this example. The first thing I'm gonna do, notice here we only have x cubed minus 27. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this so that we can add our placeholders so when we're subtracting, it's a lot easier to read. So we have x minus three, I'm gonna go ahead and add x cubed, and then I'm gonna add my minus 27 over here. Remember, you can leave empty spaces like this, or you can go ahead and add your plus and then whatever variable you're missing. So we're missing our x squared, and we're also missing our x. So now let's go ahead and divide. What variable do I need to multiply my x with? That's going to give us x cubed, and that's gonna be x squared, because x squared times x equals x cubed, and then x squared times negative three, this is gonna give us a negative three x squared. Now we're going to subtract. So x cubed minus x cubed, these are going to cancel out. And then we have zero plus three x squared. This is gonna give us a three x squared. I'm gonna go ahead and bring down this zero x here. And then I'm also gonna bring down my negative 27. Now we're going back to our divisor. What number do I need to multiply my x with? That's gonna give us three x squared. And that's going to be a positive 3x because 3x times x is going to give us 3x squared. 3x times negative 3, this is going to give us a negative 9x. Now we're going to subtract 3x squared minus 3x. These are going to cancel out. Then we have 0 plus 9x. This is going to give us 9x. And I'm going to go ahead and bring down my negative 27. Let's go back to the top. What number do I need to multiply my x with? That's going to give us 9x. And that's going to be a positive 9 because 9 times x is going to give us 9x. 9 times negative 3, this is going to give us negative 27. Now we're going to subtract 9x minus 9x. These are going to cancel out. And then we have negative 27 plus 27. This is also going to cancel out. So your remainder is zero. Your quotient is going to be x squared plus 3x plus 9. And since I do not have a remainder, this is going to be your final answer. All right, so that is all for today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.